Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the Ipsy and Birchbox for the month of May. So I'm actually kind of like a little bit in shock. I have to like wind myself. Oh, I'm a little bit in shock. So both like Ipsy is now including a list of all their items that they're sending you. They've been doing this for a couple months now, so this isn't like something super new, but I'm still like loving it. And Birchbox this month, people, I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight samples. Like, what? So I'm super excited about this month. Um, and all the items I got. I did test some of the products out and some of the products I have used before and I am already a fan. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. So I'm going to start with Ipsy just because they have a lip product in there that I want to actually try. So this month you get a cute little a glitter bag. Actually, this really reminds me of like a New Year's bag. You can't really tell because on the video, but it is a little bit more multicolored. Your first item is the Estate Lip Icing. I actually have not tried this brand before and I have nothing on my lips for the exact reason I want to try this. So here's your color. It's, I'm interested to see how this looks. I really like this one. This is just like a t the tiniest hint of pink in the shade. I actually really like it. It does smell a little bit like vanilla cake, which everyone knows. I'm okay with. I would actually say this is like a really nice kind of like everyday color. I wasn't really like expecting that. But I like it. Yay, Ipsy product number one. Okay, the next item is the REP BioFresh mask with real calming herbs. I have never heard of this brand either before. So I actually meant to use this last night and I totally forgot. So it's pretty much, there's like nothing else like in here. So it has formulated without six major parabens, sorbic acid, benzoyl, alcohol, propylene, glycol, BHT. There's a whole bunch of like shit I really can't like pronounce correctly that they didn't put in here. So it's, I guess I would assume it's supposed to be better for you. So it, it contains calendula and chamomile which help gently exfoliate and stimulate circulation and this one I actually meant to use this morning but I have used it before and I actually liked it so this is the MAC prep and prime natural radiance base this one it I'm a huge MAC fan I love just about anything MAC there's maybe been a couple things throughout the years that I'm like I can do without um, but I accidentally used my covergirl one this morning but I do like this one I have used it before it's just kind of like a cream it got it on my nose very moisturizing and honestly a little bit goes a long way obviously it's, I rubbed it in so you can't really see but it's not like a, uh, like a brightening one where it has a little bit of like shimmer to it this one I am already a huge fan of. I always have this mascara in my arsenal of mascaras. So this is the Benefit Bad Girl, Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I absolutely flip and love this. I'm wearing it now. I did not use this one this morning because I have the bigger two, but I went ahead and just used it so I can um, talk about it later. I love the brush on this one. I love the formula. I love that it separates my lashes. It's just one of the best formulas um, out there and like more of the like mid-tier brands that I really, really like. I highly, highly recommend this. Um, I'm more of like a silicone brush kind of girl anyways, so that's why I really like that one too. This one, I have got this brand before, but this is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics HD Finishing Powder. I had I did not use this this morning because I usually kind of set my face with my Mac Studio Fix. I very actually rarely use um, finishing powders, but this one's really cute. It comes with a little 
This is like a little felt poof. But when I do use them, I actually really like them. I love the um, pretty vulgar one that we actually got in BoxyCharm a couple months ago. That one is one of my like really go-to ones. And then the Banana um, Makeup Revolution one is amazing. Okay, now on to the Birch Box. So this month the box looks like this. And I want to mention that they are doing, this is the Female Founder Collaborative um, Birch Box. So all the products in here are, what we are thrilled to announce that we've joined the Female Founder Collective and network of businesses led by women and supporting women. Your box this month is a celebration of these and all powerful female entrepreneurs. Oh, that's like super cool. I'm always like, you know, I love supporting small businesses and female um, and minority type businesses. So super exciting this month for this box. So let's go ahead and check it out. So the first item is the Toka, to Toka. <laughs> People are gonna like laugh at me when I like post this. I like, I seriously don't know how to pronounce any. Anyways, it's the Gia perfume. I don't know how to pronounce it. So this is has hints of pink peppercorn, tangerine surrounding, a lavish Turkish rose, radiating female, feminine power and purity. Honestly, I love anything that smells like rose. So when I spritzled this one yesterday, I loved it. Okay, so this is the Divine's Oe Oil Oil O I All in One Milk. Nourishing leave-in treatment detangles while adding volume, shine, and heat protection. Come on, camera. You can focus. So it's just like kind of a uh, white cream. Smells kind of perfumey, which I'm fine with. I kind of like when like hair stuff has a little bit more perfumey stuff, but still like being like good for you. Okay, so also from that brand Divines is the OI shampoo and conditioner. So this is ultra hydrating paraben and sulfate free shampoo. These this is part of like the eight samples, but um, that's great for all hair types. It boosts volume and shine, improves texture, and protects hair from UV rays. Oh, protects from UV rays. Interesting. Um, sulfate free is also really good if you have greasy hair because sulfate, um, anything with sulfate in it, makes your hair a little bit more greasy. And I only learned that because I have greasy hair. So I do try to stay away from anything that does have sulfate in it. The next item is the Aero Enhance Waterproof Eyeliner. This is in the color Bright Now. So this is like kind of a super light pink, almost kind of like a white shade. I'm not even sure if it's gonna pick up, kind of right there. So I would probably use this more in like the inner corners of my eye, which let's go ahead and just, it's actually like pretty um, bright. Hmm. I like using this kind of like lighter stuff. Um, a lot of times like the metallic eyeshadows that come in like a stick I like to use as like more like the pops in the corner make your eyes just look a little bit more awake a little more bright um, but I actually kind of like that one interesting this is the tiniest thing I've ever held in my life Jane Iridal Just Kiss Lip and Cheek Stain so if I didn't already have the other one on it's pretty sheer but let's see if you can even see this. I'm gonna tone that down a little bit so I don't break it in half. I actually feel like I would use this more on my lips than my cheeks. It just has like the tiniest hint of pink to it. I'm sure you can probably see it reflecting right there. I'm not like a big fan of putting like this type of item on my cheeks. But it's nice like cute little like, oh, you're so cute little baby. You're a tiny little wing. That's like the most annoying voice I could have ever made. Okay, so this is the Comfort Zone Essential Scrub. So Illuminating Refining Scrub. Okay, so I actually did use this last night. Didn't like it. I'm just gonna be straight up with you. I thought it was absolutely terrible. The formula felt nice. It was felt like it was actually really removing the makeup off my face. And the 
kind of a small grittiness, I guess, to the exfoliation was really nice. It ha it smelled just a little bit weird, but I always, I've been using actually, I used to always be using the micellar water after I get out of the shower just to kind of do like an extra once over over my face um, to make sure I do get all the makeup off before I like go to bed and stuff. But I've been using the Kiehl's um, cleanser toner and it literally like most of the time I don't get like a whole bunch of like makeup on the cotton ball from the toner but this time there was so much more makeup on it because this did not remove it all so and I'm not saying that it's supposed to be a makeup remover but for the most part if you're like exfoliating and you're having that like kind of like abrasion to your face you would think that it's like kind of like lifting off the make the makeup um, so I definitely was not a fan of this one sorry comfort zone can't love them all so this is the Kiehl's ultra facial cream this is a 24 hour daily lightweight hydration hydrating formula for healthy looking skin with glacial glycoprotein I am actually a buyer for a couple of Kiehl's stores um, in airports throughout the country. So I have actually started using a lot of like Kiehl's products and I have been loving it. I have not tried this one yet, so I'm super excited to try it. Some of my favorite items are their pore refining um, uh, m m mask. It's for acne. It's supposed to like declog your pores. And then also the um, new cannabis oil. I have been using that and I feel like it's like completely helped with evening my skin tone, reducing redness, and with my acne as well. So there's a little plug to Kiehl's. So that's it for this month for Ipsy and Birchbox. I actually am really excited with a lot of the products I received this month and actually both of them, even though like the Birchbox had a couple more items and you kind of like count the shampoo and conditioner it probably has one but it was technically eight items in there so that's like super cool and I love the collab that they did so if you have any questions about these products go ahead and drop me a comment below and if you like this type of video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out and until next time guys bye